So this question says, if ax plus 2 times bx plus 7 equals 15x squared plus cx plus 14 for all values of x, and a plus b equals 8, what are the two possible values for c? So being that this question is only three lines long, most questions, again, that are short, between one and three lines, require the strategy of simplify. So I'm going to write an S here to represent simplify. So anytime we can simplify something, which here we have something that can be simplified, you really want to do that. All right. So if I'm going to write down, again, what I have, I have AX squared plus 2 and BX plus 7. And I'm going to simplify that by foiling. So I'm going to multiply, um, I'm sorry, not AX squared. Get rid of that 2 there. I'm not sure why I thought that was AX squared. All right, so AX plus 2 times BX plus 7. So foiling, I multiply AX times BX, which gives me ABX squared. And then AX times 7, which gives me plus 7AX and then 2 times bx, which gives me positive 2bx, and then 2 times 7, which gives me 14. Okay, so the question says that that, what I just found, once I simplify this, is equal to 15x squared plus cx plus 14. So what I'm going to do, because it says that it's equal, I'm going to actually rewrite this right-hand side of the equation underneath um, what I just simplified. So I have 15x squared here. I have plus cx and plus 14. So don't forget, right? Equals means the same. So that means that what I have on top here needs to be the same as what I have on bottom. Well, I see a 14 on both top and bottom, so that part's taken care of. Um, but in terms of my x squared term, the top equation has, or top expression has AB, the bottom one is 15, which tells me that AB must equal 15, right? That's the only way in which um, the top expression equals the bottom expression is if AB is equal to 15. And then in terms of my x terms here, that tells me that 7AX plus 2 bx must equal cx. So let's think about ab equaling 15. Well, how could that happen? There's really only, um, well, there are a few ways. However, we do have some information here in the question telling us that a plus b equals 8, which then that limits the ways in which we get a times b to equal 15. So either a is 3 and b is 5 or the exact opposite. A is 5, and B equals 3. So those are our options for A and B. Over here with 7AX plus 2BX equals CX, I can factor out the X. So I'd have 7A plus 2B parentheses X. I just removed X from both terms there. So that tells me that 7A plus 2B must equal C, because again, these two sides of the equation have to be the same, okay? So now what can I do? So I'm going to make some space here above what I now know, that 7A plus 2B equals C, and that A, either A equals 3 and B equals 5, or A equals 5 and B equals 3. Let's get rid of all of, all of this. All right, so what am I trying to find? What are the two possible values for C? Well, if C is equal to, I'll just rewrite it. If C is equal to 7A plus 2B, and A could be equal to 3 and B equal to 5, so under that scenario, I would have C is equal to 7 times 3 plus 2 times 5. 7 times 3 is 21. 2 times 5 is 10. So 21 um, plus 10 would be 31. So I get 31. But that's only one scenario, right? Also, it's, a, it's 
worth noting that D, answer choice D, is the only one that has 31, so we pretty, we're pretty certain that that's the answer already, but let's continue on. So here's one of our options. It does say we are looking for two possible values. Well, the other possible value comes from the other scenario for A and B. So in this case, C would equal seven times five plus two times three, where seven times five is 35, two times three is six, 35 plus six is 41. So here's our other option, which again, these in concert tell us that choice D is the correct answer.